have uh, Scott uh, pick those up, all right? So we're going to move on with the meeting. Just complete the ballot, if you would, pass it into the center. Okay, any questions about that? All right, Mark is our treasurer. By the way, I'm Mike Lepper. For those of you who don't know, I'm the chairman of the board and an elder. And I'm going to ask our treasurer, Mark Wilkinson, to come forward with a, with a brief financial report. Everyone has one, a financial report? All right. Again, 2021 was a good year for Cynthia Christian Church. Um, ever since I've been treasurer, I've come up here and I've said the same thing. The Lord has blessed this church and has continued to bless this church. And it makes my job so simple. Um, the giving is, um, in my mind, unbelievable. So um, my thanks to everybody who gives to the church in whatever way. It may not just be money. It may be your um, time in, you know, doing work around here, helping other people, whatever. Um, this is a giving church, and because of that, I really feel the Lord blesses us. Um, not much that I can say about um, the finances other than, again, it's um, good if you look on the back side you'll see that we had almost eight thousand dollars left over after all the expenses last year um, i don't know that anything really stands out in my mind but you know if anybody sees anything and would like to ask me a question please do so Yes, Brent? Do you know what the percentage is that we're giving the mission? Uh, no, I don't do it by percentages. Um, you know, if you look in the expense column, um, to the top of the right-hand side, you'll see total missions was over $90,000. Um, so. Do okay. Anybody else? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mark. That's a lot of work tracking all the finances, making sure the uh, bills are paid and all of those kind of things. So thank you for your hard work, Mark. <laughs> all right, I want to welcome two new deacons to the Cynthia Ann Christian Church Board, Jim Anderson, and Phil Mason, you have been approved by the congregation. Welcome. All right, at this time, I'm going to ask Larry to come forward, as he usually does, gives us a little recap, if you will. We got a lot of stuff going on last year, too. So. Just real quickly, as an old math teacher, um, we had an income of $219,000, and we had missions $90,000. Roughly 42% of everything that came in went out. And I, and I maintain all the time the reason that this congregation is so successful in loving the Lord and sharing the Lord is because of what we do outside these walls more than what we do inside the walls. Uh, the reaching out is a major part and when you, our finance is only a part of it if it hadn't been for the pandemic we would have had numerous people go on mission trips and and uh, we do have numerous people going to uh, Anderson to serve in the mission there all the time so it's what we do outside is just as important as what we do inside these walls uh, just a few things uh, 2020 uh, might mention the fact that 315 we had our very first a recorded service that we sent out the first time we'd ever had recorded a service and and put it out in the public uh, 8 6 of 2020 violet mock graduated uh, 9 12 
the Emmerich's eighth anniversary serving here at Cynthia Ann. Uh, on 12, uh, 20 something, Max Griffey graduated. Um, 1231, wedding of Luke and Jamie Hildebrand here in the building. Um, grandson and granddaughter, for those of you who don't know. Um, 2 9, the Renahan's 30th anniversary. We just celebrated our 31st anniversary here. Uh, 316, Jim Riker graduated, and on 48, Tom Kennedy graduated. And for those of you who don't understand our terminology, when someone graduates from here, it means they've left here and gone on to be with the Lord. Uh, 410 was our first uh, monthly men's meeting. Uh, we meet the second Saturday of every month. Uh, 59 was our first live worship service here in the worship center and Bob Pearson from Horizons International uh, spoke. 6-6, uh, six, six, we had the gateways from Ottumwa, Iowa come in and celebrate Margaret and I's 66th anniversary. And uh, on 7-4, we had a new caretaker introduced, Greg Ori. Uh, Greg, of course, lives right next door and pastors a congregation on the east side of Indianapolis, and we're thrilled to have Greg as a uh, uh, here is our caretaker. Uh, on 8-7, Bob Lepper graduated. 8-15, um, we met some new missionaries. They're the granddaughter of uh, a couple that attend here in the summer. They're in Florida right now. And uh, so we met uh, uh, Hannah and Pravala and uh, missionaries to Togo. And I will tell you that we decided to help them, and they sent me an email this week saying that they had reached their goal on going to Togo. So they are buying their tickets and off and going. Uh, 828, Beverly Joy graduated. Um, on 822, Garen Waters joined our fellowship. 828. A uh, young lady by the name of Gladys was baptized here in the congregational, uh, in absence of the whole congregation, but with a few of us. And on uh, 829, uh, Taylor McBride, a niece of Karen, was baptized here. Um, a 97, we packed 15 boxes for our college and military, one of the outreaches that we do. And on 912, the Emmerich's ninth anniversary serving here. 9.14 was our first monthly movie night. And then on 10.31, Shirley Noble joined the congregation. And we love having Shirley back. She's been missing for a few weeks. And we, I love your smile. 11.14, uh, we had our first harvest dinner for a while. We'd not had one during the pandemic. And 11.25, uh, Mike, Mike Burns graduated. And 12-4, uh, our charity circle and prayer pal Christmas party. And on 12-15, our first Christmas party in a, a couple of years. And uh, on 12-19, the choir presented our first cantata for two years. 12-24, um, we had our Christmas Eve service. The pandemic dent, <laughs> dented us a lot. Uh, as you see, we had a number of our people who graduated during the pandemic. If you listened this morning, you know a number of our people are uh, either in assisted living or uh, homebound right now. Uh, it's been a very difficult time. But this congregation is resilient. We will bounce back, and uh, we will be there for the Lord for years to come. And thank you very much. Thank you, Larry. And we have a lot of thank yous to go around for folks um, working on our sound system and, our, and making sure that we could videotape our services and now live streaming them. And one I want to signal out in particular is Pam English, who has been here almost every Sunday helping to film our, our uh, uh, services initially as a recording and secondly now live streaming. 
So we thank you for that. Okay, we're back on. Nope, it's flashing. Just flashing on me, what does that mean? We're good? Okay. Okay, very good. Um, again, I'll just say thank you uh, for all of those who have helped us adapt during this COVID, from getting cameras set up and audio systems working so we record and live and live feed, and I mentioned Pam English in particular, who's been here very faithfully almost every Sunday helping us tape. Yeah, it's out again. All right, you can hear me there? All right, so thanks to Pam, thanks to Scott and, and Les and Mark for working on the sound system. Thanks to all of my board members, my trustees, the deacons, the elders. Uh, we've had a lot of stuff to deal with, things that we've never had to deal with before, and, and I, I thank you for your hard work, gentlemen, on all of that. Um, are there any questions of, of me or the board while we're here in this meeting? Anything at all? I'll say one more thank you then to our teachers uh, in our Sunday school, and uh, of course we just always are thankful for Larry and Margaret and Brent and Dolly. And if there are no other things, I will close this meeting. Thank you. Charlie, do I hear a motion? Yes. yes. <laughs> Always can count on Charlie. <laughs> All right. Would you all rise? I'd like to close our meeting with a prayer. And again, I thank you for sticking around. I really do. Our Heavenly Father, we're thank so grateful for this congregation, for this family that we have here at Cynthia Ann, Lord. And we just know that that's because of your love and your influence that, that this congregation has just been blessed and enriched both personally and financially. Lord, we're so grateful that we have the financial ability to reach out to people literally all around the world and right here in our backyards as well to try to spread the word and to make their lives better whether it be through supporting schools or medical or or just providing even our the children in jamaica a lunch that may very well be the best meal they have all day lord we're just so grateful to be able to do that we continue to ask for your guidance and your wisdom as we make decisions here in the future, and we ask all this in your son's name. Amen. Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it.